Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button if you're into this kind of video. Helps my channel out a lot and let's just dive on into it you guys. I'm not much for long introduction. So this is going to be, as you read by the title, the absolute best purse for travel that I could ever imagine. Um, my sister-in-law gave it to me or soon to be sister-in-law. Um, and she had one and I was like, I love your purse, it's so cute. And she was telling me about all the features on it and I was like, that is awesome. And she was like, how about I just order you one? I was like, oh no, you don't have to do that. And she was like, yeah, I want to. So she did, she just ordered me one out of the goodness of her heart. She is seriously such a sweetheart. Um, I can't talk highly enough about her. She's one of my favorite people to be around. Um, I feel like I relate to her a lot. Um, anyway, enough about that. So this is the best purse for travel. And I have so many reasons why. I'm gonna show you what's in it, what I packed in it during my trip. So every, every summer and every winter, I go to get my daughter from um, Virginia or he's in the military. So wherever he's stationed, he was in Washington before. Um, so wherever she's at, I fly to go get her and pick her up. Um, and that was the case this, um, this Christmas. So when I went to go get her, I was pleasantly surprised to have this carrot, this, this purse. Um, you guys, here's the bag. The brand is by Travelon Crafted with Quality. So the first thing about this purse is that it is slash proof. So you can't take a knife and cut it open. It's durable, but it's still soft. It's I don't know how it's supposed to work, but supposedly it is. You can't cut the strap. Now the strap is not so soft, but it's a strap. <laughs> um, one of the really cool features about it, let me get up close here, is this locking thing. So no one can just snatch it off of you. You have to turn this all the way to here in order to undo the strap. It's not just easy peasy. So, I don't know, let me show you that again. So there's this little dial here. You kind of push down and push over, and then you can go all the way down. But if it's just in this lock position right here, it, you can't open it. So, that's nice. Um, it has this front zipper right here, and it has a little thing where it clips like this. So this whole bag can lock up. Now this is the side that I choose to face me. So I don't necessarily, it has the option though. You can zip it closed. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't have the option because it, it's facing you. So you, there's no lock closure here, but this is the side that's closest to you. What I carried in here was our plane tickets. So this time around, I went to LaGuardia. I went from um, Bentonville, Arkansas to LaGuardia to Norfolk, from Norfolk to Charlotte, back to XNA. So there's our boarding passes for one trip and my boarding pass from XNA. I saved them, I don't know why, I guess. I'm really nervous that one day my daughter will be like, you didn't try enough to see me. You didn't try enough to get custody of me or something. So all of like the custody paperwork, my divorce paperwork, like all of every plane ticket that I buy, every birthday card that I send, I buy, an, I buy another one. I send, I get two birthday cards and I save one to give her to when she's 18, a replica of the same one that I get for whatever year. Cause I don't know, that's a whole long story. Maybe one day we'll delve into it if anyone's interested, but that was like one of the most heartbreaking things to ever, that I ever had to go through. Anyway, um, 
moving right along. Um, so I put those in the pocket closest to me, zipped it shut. The top zipper has that same locking mechanism right here. Here's the little tab that you lift up. Here's the little lock that you push down and you can't, you can't unzip it. So it's just a very secure bag. It's, it's awesome. Um, so when I did travel with it, there's a few things that I don't have in here right now, but it, it holds so much for being so small, you guys. I was seriously impressed with it. So I carried a sanitary napkin or a, a, you know, a pad with me in this pocket. It was super thin, didn't take up much room, but just in case. As I've said before on my channel, I have an IUD. I don't really um, have a period, but just in case, you never know, or you never know when someone around you might need one. So it's a good thing to just carry one with you. So I had that in there. Another cool feature about this bag is, where is it at? Right here on the inside, there's this little clip thing and it has a light that you can shine inside your bag to see anything. It's, it's a way cool bag, you guys. It has two, so it has the zip pouch here. It has a pocket here and another pocket here. So I had my cell phone in there. I'm recording on my cell phone so you can't see it. So I had my cell phone in there. I had this blotting powder, if I can open it. You can see I kind of need some right now on my forehead. Let's just pad it up a little bit. Don't make fun of my big forehead, y'all. That's why I got bangs. There we go. A little bit better. Um, so blotting powder I had with me. Um, I kept this with me mainly. So this was my primary source of a wallet. I had my ID, my in case of emergency credit card in here, and a ton of cash. <laughs> so I had it in here and then I kept it inside this little zipper pocket with my, um, with my pad in it. So it was like triple layered, not getting to unless you really needed it. Um, unless you knew where it was. So that was in there. I put my wallet in here. I did not carry this wallet, but I put it in here just to show you the size of stuff that it can fit in here. Along with that, I also had a pack of cigarettes and I think I still have it in this front pocket here. Uh, a lighter, of course, because what good is cigarettes without a lighter? And then in, up here, I carried a vape pen just in case. Um, you've all already heard my spiel. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you don't vape, don't start. Bad habits. Um, it's the only addiction I've ever, ever had that I can't seem to, um, kick the habits. Um, one day maybe, but anyway, onward, onward with the rest of the show. Okay, so I carried a thing of poopery. I did not need it. This one's a holiday edition, you guys. It's called Oh Spritzmas Tree. Super cute. Anyway, so... I have poopery in there. I have my AirPods to listen. I didn't end up using them, but they're there in case I did want them. Um, I ended up buying a package of Mentos, not finishing them all. I bought a pack of Orbit gum while I was there. I carried my Dior lip glow oil. Uh, what color is this? coral 004 coral um i carried that in there and like i said i also had pack of cigarettes in the lighter and um i think i had a little fidget cube in here and this purse just holds an amazing amount of stuff for being so small it's truly amazing so put this all back in here um, so like I said, the purse is slash proof. It has that thing, that technology where nobody can scan your credit cards through the bag. Um, it worked well through TSA. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Maybe not. It went away. <laughs> anyway, 
So I had a hand sanitizer on here because that was like something I really needed at the airport. Um, this is my favorite um, clip on one that I have. It's easy to take on and off. It's super blingy and shiny. And in here I just have a beautiful day. So that was my purse that I carried with me. Then I wasn't even going to take a carry on you guys. Um, I, it was a one day trip as far as like, here's how my day went. I got up at four o'clock in the morning, got to the airport at five, got on my plane at six, went from there to like what I say in the beginning, LaGuardia, and then to Norfolk, and then waited at Norfolk for like five hours, and then went from Norfolk to Charlotte. I ended up getting laid over in Charlotte, so I had to fit in ending, ended up to have a hotel room, but originally the plan was to go from Charlotte back to XNA in the same day and get back at 10 o'clock at night. So that's starting at four in the morning and getting back at 10 o'clock at night. It's, that's usually how it goes. And in the summertime, I will probably only take this because, but in the winter, you never know about weather. And I'm so glad I brought this extra bag with me, you guys. And my mom and dad were like, just pack an extra bag. You never know. And I was like, fine, it's just more to carry, but I'll have it with me. So I took this backpack. This thing has been around the world and back. I got it at Target like probably 10 years ago. Um, and it's really nice. I'll show you what I have in my carry-on. This is what I use as my carry-on. Another hand sanitizer in A Thousand Wishes. Something called lip shit <laughs> that I, it's literally called that. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, I picked that up at an airport. I can't even remember which one. I didn't have any chapstick with me and I bought that. And then I have the Victoria's Secret's Very Sexy Orchard in here and a pack of bubble gum. Probably didn't even need all that. It has another zipper on this side that's like facing you. I don't think I have anything in it. Oh yes, I do. I have a pair of socks. Sweet. And another plane ticket. I'll put that in the bag here with the rest of them. There's no telling when that one was from. I don't I don't do a good job of cleaning out my stuff right when I get home. Like I said, this bag is literally still from uh, when I got back from my trip. I just unloaded it and my purse and called it a day. Um, what all did I bring with me? Oh, my daughter gave me a few Christmas presents, uh, two candles, um, I'll just take them out and show you. They were, they had to go through them at the airport because apparently they were made of, I, I, I don't know. So, this and this candle here, very nice smelling candles. Unfortunately, the TSA agent unwrapped them for me. Didn't get to wait till Christmas to open that. And I did not bring... What is this? A headband. I think that's actually my daughter's, so I need to mail it back to her. Um, a charging bank. I brought I brought three with me this time around. So there that's actually my dad's. Um I have this pen, uh a special meaning to it. I don't know if I'll delve into that. Anyway. Um I brought this shirt with me. This, I think I might have worn this. Y'all have seen me wear this before. It's super cute. Um, I need to wash it. I brought, oh, my daughter gave me another little package of goodies. It's just random stuff like a, a fidget ball. That's pretty cool. I like fidgety things, you guys. I can't help that I'm just like a grown up kid. Um, a stamp for the gingerbread man. What else did she give me? Ooh, squishy stuff. This little squishums. And a Santa Claus ring that flashes. I don't know if I can get it to work now. No, of course not, but it flashes. And 
a smiley face stress ball. Very cool. So my daughter gave me that too. It's very sweet of her to be thoughtful like that. Like most nine year olds wouldn't be like, I want to get my mom all this stuff. Like it's, and it's not like her dad is like super supportive of like, let's go pick your mom out something. Um, probably that's me assuming, but they did get me the candles. Anyway, m moving right along. I brought a pair of underwear, a pair of socks. And I'm glad that I brought those, you guys, because, oh, my daughter brought me some slime, too, or kinetic sand, something. And I am so glad that I had that extra stuff, you guys, because I ended up, like I said, getting laid over in Charlotte for the night. It was it was a blessing in disguise because, you guys, that getting up at 4 in the morning, going till 10 p.m., and that's not getting home until probably 11 because I live an hour away from the airport. So... You guys, ha that accidental or mishap where I had to stay in Charlotte was a $130 blessing in disguise. You guys, I found a hotel room for $90. It actually wasn't in a skeezy part of town. It was real close to the airport. Um, and a $30 Uber to get there. And that is it. And they had a shuttle running to the airport for the next morning. It was super convenient. They had breakfast in the hotel. It was very nice. Um, it was a, like I said, a blessing in disguise. Another thing that I brought with me, you guys, is the House of Night series. I've been reading this. You guys, I read this when I was probably 19, maybe, in, uh, I don't remember. Maybe I was 22. Yeah, my son was born, so... I was probably 22 when I read, first read this and I loved it then and I had kind of forgotten about it and I left all my books in Washington when I divorced my husband and left him, um, my ex-husband and so I was, I unfortunately have to buy the whole set again um, and it's been worth every penny you guys. They're so entertaining. They're like a young adult book. I think it has some like R-rated scenes in it. So um, if if you're under like the age of like 15, I think you would need to ask your parents if you needed, if you could read this. Um, but 18 and over, but it's, a, it's an excellent book. Like I said, it's the um, PC cast and Kristen cast. It's a mom and daughter duo. And they wrote a House of Night novel. So... It starts with marked, betrayed, chosen, then untamed. And there's six more books after that. I don't remember the names of them. But it is a little steamy. It has a, it's salt and peppered in there. It's not like the whole thing is smut. Um, so there's a few, there's like some young adult romance. Um, and the girl, it's about vampires. Um, it's, it's a really neat, if you love Twilight, I feel like you would love this or vampire diaries if you like that you'll you'll be into this and it's kind of local i'm from arkansas the girl who wrote it's from oklahoma um very neat so you guys that's what all i took with me on my vacate on my little uh hop of a flight that i had to take um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some use out of it and thank you guys for tuning into my channel as usual we will see you next time bye